everyone, it's Sarah or Lovely Day here with another video. Today I'm super excited to have a parcel to open. This arrived from Kayla, a dear friend of mine. She sent this for me for my birthday, which in all honesty was a little while ago, but Kayla sent it well before my birthday. The postal services just had their way with it and it took its time, but now it is here and I'm so excited. So let's just crack into it and see what we have in store. I'm a little concerned because it's quite a big box. It's quite heavy. Uh, Kayla told me that she's forgotten some of what is in it, so um, it bodes well. <laughs> Before I open it, I am just going to say, Kayla, thank you. <laughs> I still am just, I know I've messaged you and I've told you this over DM, but like, it's just so nice. Thank you so much, Kayla. You are too kind to me. I've been instructed that there is a pink bag in here to not forget to open it since the original packaging would not fit. So I'm going to keep that in mind and let's just get into it, eh? Oh, oh I, re I recognize some things. Oh my gosh, look. Wow, Kayla! One of these candies may have had a little bit of an accident, but that is okay. Mmm, yum. It's good though. It's a very tasty accident. I'm gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work down. I think this may or may not be the pink bag that Kayla was referring to. Now I know what this is. This is a Na 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 surprise bag thing. They're very handy. They are absolutely adorable. This one is a pink bunny rabbit, but I get the feeling that whatever is in it it's possibly not an Ananana Surprise Dolls. Wait, I might need to move this back so I've got some more space. Is this a Hello Kitty baking set? No way. It's a little rolling pin. We also have a baking tray. Some little cookie cutters. This one's a Hello Kitty one. That one's a bow. There's a Hello Kitty plate. Gosh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Spatula. Is this, is this a Hello Kitty? <gasps> oh my god. Look at how cute that is. Can you see that? It's a little jam jar. That is adorable. And this is a little cake mixer. And there is even a Hello Kitty. It's even got measuring things on the side. Oh my gosh, this is adorable! No way, and there's even, there's even a little set of measuring spoons. Are you kidding me right now? Look at how cute that is! Oh my gosh, I have to make a itty bitty cake with this. I just have to do it. That is too adorable, and there are cute little Hello Kitty cookies maybe, or decoration things. That's cute, and I've been holding it this whole time, but I think this is for making pastry, pasta, I'm not sure if I'm being honest, maybe it attaches to this somehow, I might have to ask Kayla about that one. Look at this though, I'll sit this in here so you can see. Isn't that just adorable? I need to make a little kitchen for my dolls, oh my gosh, maybe my diorama just needs to become a kitchen. With this and the fridge and everything as well, like. Yep, I think a kitchen needs to happen. So I've taken all the candy out. It does unfortunately seem like a couple of the um, Jolly Rancher hard candies have melted slightly. It's quite likely this parcel was in the sun or somewhere warm at some point during its journey and unfortunately it has made some things a little bit sticky, but don't worry Kayla, it'll be fine. A few of the things I'm sure I can just wipe off. The main victims of the candy, unfortunately, seem to be these cushions you made, which are so utterly adorable. I'm gonna um, see if I can very carefully unpick them, take the stuffing out and give them a good wash and I'm sure they'll come up just fine. So please don't be sad, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, I promise. Uh, but look at how cute this is, look at this little bee cushion, it's gonna be adorable on the bed. That little bed I made just needs all of the cushions. And actually it doesn't have any big show pillows, so these are going to be perfect. This one says it's good to be the queen, perfect for our girl bee. And this one says kind, but there's also a bee, so you know. Be kind. I love a good bee pun. <laughs> I just found this. It's some Hello Kitty modeling clay. So I'm assuming this will go with the baking set 
so you can play to make a little cake or something. That's so cute. The next thing I spot I'm quite excited about, this is a Five Surprise Toy Mini Brands thingamajiggy. I'm going to open this now and see what we've got. Uh, fun fact, I did open some of these at one point. I don't think I ever published or edited that video though. The way I had my camera set up was just all wrong and none of the footage of me showing any of the items was actually watchable or visible. So I think that footage just ended up being consumed by the ether. But at least we've got some now that you'll be able to see. So uh, let me see if I can remember how to do this. These are really, really cute. You get um, like miniature toys and they are adorable. Let's see what we've got in this first one. Ooh, I haven't seen this one before. It's a little doll. I'm not familiar with this doll line, but she looks super cute in there. I'm a 90s kid. Let's bring back all of these old cartoons. I would love it. We have a Ninja Turtle! <laughs> oh my gosh, I think it's Leonardo, unless I'm mistaken. We've got a little Nerf gun. I wonder if I could take this out of the packaging. Maybe it would work quite well as a prop. And then in the final one, it's a little Robo Alive snake toy. Very cool. I don't think I have any of these. This is awesome. These are so cute and they work so good as doll props. Next up, we have a bunch of eraser food or rubber food or whatever you want to call it. These are really cool designs of erasers that look like food. This one is filled with cakes and ice cream and stuff. Like, that is awesome. I wonder if I could like put them together to make it look like a full cake. It's not quite enough for a full cake, but it still works. I wonder if I put these on a little plate. Oh, wait, I could put it on the Hello Kitty plate. Look at that. Oh wow, isn't it adorable? In this bag, we also had these cakes some ice cream, some sandwiches, which you can actually take apart to get the ingredients out, which is awesome. A couple of burgers and a couple of hot dogs. I'm assuming you can probably take these apart as well. They all seem like they've got uh, different things on them so that you can, yeah, just take bits apart. That's awesome. It means for sake of taking a photo of my dolls, I could make it look like they were actually putting these food items together. And the last thing is these fries. Oh my gosh, they are so, so cute. How anyone could ever actually use these erasers as erasers, just, you can't, no way. Of course, we also have this set of fruit erasers. Here we have a little strawberry, an apple, a peach, an orange, a pineapple, and of course, some bananas. It's also just started to rain, so if you can hear that, weird pitter patter noise, that's what that is. The next items on top, I'm super impressed by, I'm assuming Kayla made these. We have four, yes that's right, four piles of books. Books are probably my favorite thing for decorating dioramas and I've never gotten around or figured out how to make them myself. These are amazing and I'm gonna put them all in my diorama like straight away. They look so good. Just look at them. They're, in they're incredible. They're so, so cool. I love the detail. They really look like they've got little pages in there. I really like how they're tied in little piles too. Part of me wants to just leave them like this. I feel like that's part of the charm. Look at how cute they are. These all look like they could be books in the same set. I have a lot of shelves. What better to put on shelves than a bunch of books? The next thing in here is a couple of fat quarters. This one has foxes on it. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. I'm really gonna have to actually get around to making stuff. I've only intended on making doll clothes forever and now like, I need to, <laughs> I need to get around to it. This one has little woodland creatures on it. Oh wait, it has foxes as well. And there's a squirrel. Oh my god, it's so cute. That's adorable. Can you see it? I could just imagine these on a skirt or a t-shirt. If and when I do get around to making t-shirts, you will know I will be documenting it. I will be showing you how I do it. I'll bring you on that journey with me. <laughs> these might just be the push I need to do it. So thank you, Kayla. This is adorable too. I just, I reckon Ava would adore clothing made out of this. There are a couple of things in here in little boxes. I'm kind of curious about that, but before I get to them, 
I can't say no to opening this. I have heard about these. I don't think I've seen them in shops yet, but it's a collectible wand. This must be a great scale for my dolls, surely. There are quite a few you could get. There's an umbrella, Hagrid's umbrella is on here. Let's just get to it, I'm so curious. I have seen people posing their dolls with little wands and I've wondered where they got them from and I had heard that these existed, but I thought they were bigger for some reason. Let's reveal the wand. Do -do -do -do. Very sleek and elegant. Oh yo, I think we got Ginny's wand. Oh, that is awesome. I don't know if the details are gonna show up. It's actually reasonably weighted considering its size. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put them in the Harry Potter outfit stuff that I have. It's gonna be perfect, I can't wait. Okay, and then the stand, how can I forget? So the wand just goes in here like so. Ta-da! <laughs> that is really cool. What an awesome idea for a little toy. I'm honestly surprised that this sort of thing has not existed sooner. And part of me wants to try find these in stores now so that I can get wands for all of my dolls. Okay, left in the box we have these two little boxes. Let's see what we've got in this one. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Just when I think we're done, we're almost done and it, there's so many things in here. Can you see this? I'm drawn to these straight away. Can you see this? Look at all of these. Jelly is gonna love these. Jelly's gonna have bracelets going up her entire arm because like, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> and we've also got a little key. It's not focusing properly because I'm too busy back here being like, oh my gosh, look at this! <laughs> I definitely think the pastel ones are my favourite, but they are all just so, so cute. Oh my gosh, and there's a yellow one, obviously that's going to be bees, like, there's no doubt about it. It's tricky to show you without uh, accidentally dropping them, but hopefully you get an idea of what they're like. Look at how many there are and they're so cute. We've got like a pile of what seems like photos, but maybe they're made to look like coasters or records. I might have to ask Kayla about this. Regardless, it is a really cute little prop. Also in here, we have a few food items or mini food items. I absolutely adore this. We have some mini Smarties, or we call them rockets here in New Zealand. I don't know if that's just us or what, but they look exactly like this. They're the same as this. And I love this candy. They are so, 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 so good. We also have some mini Pez candies. That's adorable. There's this little tub of dipping chocolate. And for a change of pace, some crispy onions. <laughs> Okay, I love these. Oh my gosh, we've got four little phones. They each have something different on the home screen too. So, you know, we've got some variation going on here. This is awesome. Wait, have a look at these. Aren't they adorable? So the little phones, I think they're also built on cardboard or balsa wood or some sort of sturdy material. I, I would assume it's balsa wood honestly. And then on the back, it's all the same. It's got the camera and stuff on there. And the icon here looks like a little... And the icon here looks like a teddy bear. I love that so much. I don't know why, but it just brings me so much joy. And then the final thing we have in this one is a little set of cutlery. What? <laughs> this is so cool. Look at these. I think I've seen something like these before, but uh, definitely not ones as detailed as these. I really want to get a better look at these, so I'm going to take them out of the packaging and have a look now. Oh wow! Okay, these are really like legit metal utensils. The knives are a little interesting, I guess, on the back. <laughs> they kind of look like little spatulas almost. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in focus, but yeah. The fact that when I hold them, can you hear that? Like the legit little metal cutlery items. I can't. That's so cool. And the forks and the, 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 the detail. Can you see just how cool they are? And they are the perfect size. 
Not gonna lie, my arms are kind of getting a bit tired from holding things up. Look the camera, what does that say about me? We're not even done yet though, there is still another one of these boxes. I... I showed myself first, okay? I'm sorry, I'm allowed to show myself first if I want to. <laughs> we have a couple more of these. I These ones definitely look more like piles of records to me. I think that is what they are. I think I, I think I was correct in that, but we've got this pile here. They say my froggy stuff on the back, by the way, so either Kayla was inspired by my froggy stuff or got these from my froggy stuff. Either way, that is amazing and they are so, so cute. Isn't that awesome? These sort of props where things are shrunk down and they still have all of this detail on them at this accurate scale. It's just the best. It's the best thing. Oh my gosh, are these little things of seeds. That is adorable. I didn't even see those initially. Okay, I'm gonna try and hold this up to kind of maybe save my arms, but maybe not save my arms. We have some spice shaker things. This one is ground cinnamon. I don't know if you can see that. Actually, I will just hold them up. My arm's already tired, it's fine. Okay, so we have this little thing of ground cinnamon, some organic paprika, some tomato and basil pasta sauce, and a big tub of Mentos. <laughs> but the things I was getting really excited about, we have these little seed packs. Oh my gosh, and I don't know if it's readable at all, but like, there's even instructions or like info on the back of each of these. I love it. I love it. Bee is going to have a little garden and she's going to plant little flowers. It's so cute. I almost forgot we also have this ribbon here. It's a really pretty mint colour. I'm sure it will come in handy for something. I'm not sure what yet but it is a super super cute colour and I can't wait to use it for something. Anyway though, with that we have opened everything. That took, that took a lot longer than I was expecting. There were so many things, so many surprises, so many bits and pieces to open up and find and discover and reveal between the wand and the Hello Kitty cake set, all of the candy, the erasers, the cutlery, the books, the mini food items, the cushions. They are so, so sweet and I'm going to get them cleaned up and put them on the bed and they're going to look adorable. I really can't say it enough but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much Kayla for this amazing birthday package. I'm sorry it wasn't able to get here on my birthday but I'm not complaining. I'm all for celebrating my birthday any time of year. It really just extends it, you know. I just had an extended birthday. Not gonna lie, really looking forward to eating all of that candy. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. Um, I probably should hold myself back and limit myself, but uh, it just looks so good. With that though, I do think we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Kayla, thank you so much again. You superstar, you legend, you wonderful friend. I really appreciate you so, so much. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below telling me which of these amazing things is your favorite. If you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you joined me here. I upload a new video every weekend. Thank you so much for watching, it has been Lavely, and I'll catch you in another video sometime soon.